let's talk about chemical equilibrium um, chemical equilibrium we are talking about the rate of forward equals to the rate of reverse reaction when something is at equilibrium the amount of reactants and products are equivalent they do not change all the concentration of product and the concentration of reactants once it's at equilibrium they are constant now there are requirements for the chemical equilibrium it needs to be reversible in a closed system what do we mean it to be re reversible the products can be converted back to reactants so from forward to then reverse now in a closed system it has to be an isolated system i'm not going to draw that on that now there are factors that affect chemical equilibrium but there's the one that we call catalyst catalyst has no effect on equilibrium position so that means the catalyst doesn't shift it forward it doesn't shift it backwards or shift it left or right the chemical equilibrium but what does it do it shortens and the time it takes to reach equilibrium which means it speeds up the reaction now there's a principle that governs the chemical equilibrium we call it it's le chatelier's principle great rules you need to understand the le chatelier's principle and you need to be able to define it it says when a chemical equilibrium in a closed system is disturbed the system will reinstate the new equilibrium by favoring the reaction that opposes the disturbance so what it does the the, the le chatelier's principle it reinstates once there's a disturbance once there's a disturbance in the the chemical equilibrium it reinstates which means it takes it back to the equilibrium but not to the original equilibrium but to the new equilibrium and then by doing so it's favoring the reaction that opposes the um the disturbance so always the system will oppose um the 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 disturbance that you have done um we'll look at the disturbances now now here are the factors that affects the chemical equilibrium it's cpt like cape town it's concentration temperature pressure you see the catalyst is not part of it now it's very important to understand what's happening here let's look at the first one the concentration when you increase the concentration all the time reaction um, that decreases the concentration is favored remember according to le chatelier's principle when you increase the concentration the system will what will decrease it so that um, that reaction that decreases the concentration is the one that is favored i'm going to dwell on that same applies when you in decrease the concentration the reaction that increases the concentration or what will be favored let's look at this reaction let's look at this reaction in this reaction it says increase in concentration um now let's look at an increase in concentration. it says it favors the reaction that decreases the concentration now what is the reaction that decreases the concentration let's look at that now we increase the concentration of hydrogen now hydrogen increases now what is the system is going to do in that disturbance the system is going to decrease that concentration of hydrogen since there are two reactants there it's not only hydrogen the reactants that are there it's not only hydrogen so the system what is going to do is going to decrease the sulfur as well so once it decreases the sulfur the products needs to what increase so now this is forward and this is reverse so the system favors the increase so this is the disturbance and this is the opposition what uh, what the system did opposed this increase and then um, increase the the product so once the, the products are increased the forward reaction is favored now let's look at the decrease in concentration let's erase that the decrease in concentration of of hydrogen is the hydrogen decreases and then the system what is going to do is going to increase the hydrogen and also increase the sulfur so what is going to do with the product is going to decrease the product so the system favors the ones that it has increased so it won't it will favor what it increased the reactant so it will favor what the reverse reaction now um, let's look here in another way in another way um this one 
the hydrogen sulfide has increased so the concentration of hydrogen sulfide has been increased so that's the disturbance the system opposes that disturbance decreases the concentration of hydrogen sulfide and then if it decreases the product so it will increase the what the reactant so a reverse is favored because it's the reactant i hope you get that let's look at one of the factors um, that affects the chemical equilibrium temperature this is very important to keep this in mind increase in temperature always endothermic reaction is favored you need to keep that in mind you need to memorize it when you increase the temperature endothermic reaction is favored decrease in temperature exothermic reaction is favored guys it's very important don't confuse with this when we talk about the exothermic reaction we talk about the increase in temperature when we talk about the endothermic reaction we talk about the decrease in temperature but in the chemical equilibrium when we increase in temperature endothermic is favored when we decrease in temperature exothermic is what is favored it's very important to keep that in mind let's look at the reaction it's the same reaction that we had previously we have a hydrogen and sulfide gives you hydrogen sulfide and we are told today the delta h is less than zero when the delta h is less than zero what do they mean they mean that our forward our forward reaction here Our forward reaction here is what is exo and the reverse reaction is going to be what endo so all the time when we talk about the forward is exo how do we know the forward is exo since we are given the exo here is forward that means um, since we're given here our delta h is less than zero that means it's an exothermic so our forward is going to be exo and the reverse is going to be endo okay let's cut the chase now now decreases in temperature as you know when we decrease in temperature um endothermic um exothermic reaction is favored what is an exothermic reaction is what is forward remember we said exo is what is forward we get it from this this is a standard guys you have to know that now decreases in temperature again favors the forward reaction because our forward reaction is what is exo we're taking from this because when we decrease temperature exothermic reaction is favored so it's going to be what forward now De in increase in temperature favors what endothermic reaction what is on endothermic reaction is what is reversal reverse reaction is what is favored the guys it's very important just rewind that if you do not understand guys um we have the factor we call it it's a pressure when we talk about the pressure we talk more of the same thing as the concentration so it's very important now to understand this increase in pressure a reaction produces smallest number of moles of gas is favored now in other words increase in pressure favors the side with the least number of moles in the reaction what do i mean by that now guys if you see here we have two we have two here in front and we have one here so this is the side with the most number of moles so the nitrogen uh, the nitrogen dioxide gas there are two of them here um the 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 n2o4 there's one of it here so two mole of gas one mole of gas so this one is the least uh a side is the side with the least number of moles of gas this one is the side with the most number of gases so all the time increase in temperature when you increase the temperature of of the system the reaction um, produces the small number of, of of gas will be favored so the reaction will favor the side with the less number of moles so when it favors the side with the less number of moles that means it will favor what forward right so decrease in temperature reaction that produces the greatest number of moles will be favored so decrease in temperature favors the side with the most number of moles so it will favor what reverse this side so let's look at here let's look at here 
pressure is increased so when we increase pressure forward reaction is favored all the time so how do we know it's forward reaction increases in pressure favors the side with the less number of moles so the side with the less number of moles is the product how do we see there's one here there's two so this is the less number of moles so this side will be favored so if we favor this side which is the product we favor the what the forward reaction now decrease in temperature favors the side with the most number of moles which is this side so it favors what reverse so reverse reaction is favored